good morning. I'm out here right now in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park at the Rainbow Falls Trailhead. Just uh, 100 yards from this parking lot. I already saw a bear, which is cool. So about to get started. It's kind of raining, drizzling right now. So hopefully I don't get soaked, but either way, it's gonna be a good day. <laughs> Not even a mile in, I had to shed the outer layer. It's warm running up this hill, mountain, non stop uphill. I'm running beside this really, really flowing creek. Take a look at it, it's beautiful. Pretty nice. Waterfall back there is Rainbow Falls. Uh, pretty beautiful. I've never actually, I don't think I've ever seen it. If I have, it would have been when I was a kid. But man, that was beautiful. Really flowing good too after the really hard rains we had yesterday. So yeah, it's going well. So I'm up over almost at 4,500 feet of elevation right now. It's starting to get cooler. So I had to get out the, uh, the mittens, get the hands warmed up. But it's a, uh, still raining. All right, keep on trucking. Well, another creek crossing, but there's no way to cross this one without getting my feet wet, at least not safely. I don't want to fall and hurt myself. All right, <coughs> time to get wet. It's gonna be cold. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, that's cold. Ah. <laughs> Let's just hope these uh, Hoka Touring 2s dry out, drain and dry out a little bit. They're not gonna dry, but at least drain. Because uh, the higher I go, it's supposed to be like in the 20s with a wind chill. So that'll be some cold feet. <laughs> Gotta keep moving. Smoky Mountains are living up to their name. I wish it was clearer because this would probably be a gorgeous view. Look at that. Still pretty cool. I think it's still pretty.
close to the top now. Not much further. Top. This is high top. I think it's called high top. <laughs> 66, 93 elevation. <laughs> Goodness, up here. Definitely cold, colder. So I gotta keep moving. Somewhere way off that way is Newfound Gap, where I started my run last time with Lee up here. cold up here so I'm trying to get the sweat out of there or the uh, rain out of this shirt and then put another shirt I have over top It'll be a little bit warmer oh gosh that's cold Whew. lesson learned I had this shirt in my vest but I didn't have it in a bag a plastic bag so it's pretty darn wet oh well better than nothing Alright, here's the turn off where this is where I came up from Rainbow Falls. Just came down from Mount Lacant. I'm heading this way. Bullhead Trail. Oh, my hands and feet are freezing. My feet have been in these puddles, creeks. <coughs> Pretty much all day since that first crossing. And now my feet are almost numb. Kind of numb. They feel really weird. And my gloves are soaked for some reason, so my hands are cold. But. We're moving, we'll get down. some beautiful views but not that I would have time to look at them they got to be so focused and aware because this is so technical so many rocks and roots wow. that is there other than a cairn of rocks so maybe a summit I don't know <laughs> still <laughs> heading <coughs> still heading down uh, I've already caught my left toe like I don't know probably two or three times and almost gone down Luckily, I was able to keep it upright, but at one time, that really hurt the toe, so hopefully nothing's wrong down there, but otherwise, a good descent. Technical though, my goodness. Legs are getting tired. Made it. 
down to this little connector trail to get me back over to Rainbow Falls Trailhead. Moving right along. back down. Time to uh, get dry. So that was a pretty good run. Uh, definitely wet. I mean, I was soaked from head to toe, everything, and my gloves, my hat, I mean, everything was soaked. Uh, where I smacked my foot, where I told you about, I did actually, I had a piece of, kind of some dead skin that was there uh, on my toe, and it was still intact, but when I hit it, apparently it knocked it loose, and so I just had to rip it off. <laughs> it was kind of gross on my toe. Uh, but you know, it's toes of an ultra runner. So anyway, good day on the con. Super grateful to uh, my wife let me come out and run on uh, Mother's Day weekend. Uh, tomorrow is Mother's Day, but we're out uh, here in Gatlinburg with some family for the weekend. So I snuck away for a couple hours, but it ended up being about f uh, almost 14.2 miles, a little over 4,100 feet of elevation gain. Going up was pretty slow. Um, you know, I tried to run most of it. But it was still even running and was still a you know 13 14 minute pace running uh uphill instead of the uh you know walking at 20 minute pace so it was still still a good workout <clears throat> and then coming down i wasn't able to go near as fast just because it was wet and uh just very very technical like just crazy i don't even know if it was dry if i could go too much faster because i mean i almost fell almost fell three times one time i did went go like i didn't go down totally but i i caught myself with my hands and man, this hand is really gonna be bruised. I can feel it. It's got a, a spot in there that man, when I open my hand like that right there, that really hurts. So it's gonna be it's gonna be bruised. But oh well, good run. Hope you all had a great weekend. Uh, you mothers out there had a great Mother's Day. Uh, husbands or uh, spouses or whatever out there, make sure and take care of your women. Hopefully you uh, you did take care of your your mothers. So they do a lot. But anyway, hope you all had a great one. Appreciate you watching. Uh, let's see, I want to take a look at the last time I ran LeConte with Lee. Uh, it's going to be on your screen. Uh, quite a bit different there, a lot of snow. So anyway, take a look at that. Thank you and I'll see you on the next one.